I'm a little dark. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know if that light was on. What the? We're getting it together. Welcome to the live cast. It's Monday night. Can you hear us? I can hear yeah, I gotcha. I just couldn't get the music. I can't hear anything. Oh, you don't hear anything, Steve? Well, no, oh, no, you don't have headphones. All right, let's all calm down. We're all here. We're all here and we're all good. And wow. your phone I'm is ringing. Sorry. The host I'm of the sorry. show. Wow. Who is it? Just let me tell you. Hey, Aaron, we just started the live cast. <laughs> <laughs> We just started the live cast. I can't really talk right now. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, awkward. Yeah, maybe you could not do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I kind of like that. You should just leave your phone on and see. Take the calls? Yeah, you should just take the calls <laughs> on. Cool. See what happens. No matter how awkward it seems. It could be awkward. What if it wasn't good? You I know, know it's I not like, professional. I apologize. For I that. like it when you start the show with some energy, especially oh. on a Monday. Woo! We're here. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I can't believe you have you energy, doing, Max. Man? Yeah, Max <laughs> came back from Coachella. I mean, uh, he starts today. the show like, oh. No, I didn't. Hey. Well, I, oh, just on, at that moment. Just at that moment. <laughs> just at that moment. Steve couldn't hear. Kelly couldn't hear. And. Just as my picture came up, I realized uh, that yeah, light. Was, both Steve and I both realized that light was off, and now he's moving it around. <laughs> so if I'm g getting brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer, it's because of Steve. It's all good. <laughs> it's a Monday. A lot. A lot has gone on today. Max just came back from Coachella. Max, in a word, how was it? Unbelievable. That's a good word. What years is for you? Three. <clears throat> And if you don't know, if you don't, if you're in other parts of the country and you don't know what Coachella is, Coachella is the new Woodstock. Is that not correct? That I think that's absolutely I, true. Uh, I, I mean, sure, yeah. I uh, mean, it's a giant music festival out uh -huh. in a out in a field, essentially. Yeah, it's, multiple, it's on a big polo field. It's a multiple multi-day Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three-day crazy-ass event. Yeah, all types of music. It used to be all really. types of mu music. Biggest act there last night or over the weekend, Max? Biggest name. Of the whole weekend? Yeah. Uh, that depends on what kind of music you like. I mean, I guess the Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg thing was, I mean, obviously that's not everybody's cup of tea, but in, I mean. We've all now watched the video of uh, mm -hmm. Tupac, mm -hmm. who, who died six years ago. They had a, an amazing hologram of him mm -hmm. on the stage. And as you said, who was standing right there, you imagine it would just be on the screens. Yeah. But this I, illusion of him was actually mm -hmm. him standing on the stage singing, also singing with Snoop. That picture right there is not a real person. It's, it's merely digital. a hologram that if you stood in front of the stage, you would see that. Moving around, singing, talking. Performing uh, with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Performing with too. Snoop. Boy, look at he is cut, boy. Yeah, still, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. after six years. I, that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> I know. I hate it when they keep showing people that look like me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there you go, both side by side. There, there they are. That's pretty amazing, huh? Uh huh. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, great event. Great event. I've not been, and I know a lot of people go. Tickets max three days or three fifty. Yes. And there's a Please six. Buy. There's a six hundred dollar option. Yeah, for VIP. And what does that get you? Um, like a little, uh, you get to cut the line, you get access to a yeah, little yeah. VIP area, free water bottles. Is it tough getting in? Yeah, they have like a huge perimeter surrounding the polo fields yeah. that literally, I mean, maybe goes two miles just fully around. Um, and that's to prevent people from hopping line or hopping fences and trying to bust in. Do, is, it, is it like the... Um I mean, is it like a border? They've got like people stationed yeah, every absolutely. couple hundred feet or something? Yep, absolutely. And how many people went to Coachella? Uh, I heard Snoop Dogg say something about, not, I want to see 90,000 people jumping right now. Okay. So close to 100,000 people. Yeah. And there's another that's only weekend. That's for, that's for one day. Right, so one day, I'm yeah, guessing yeah. the total was close to 250,000. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Will you go back next year? Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's now a uh, pilgrimage for you. Yeah, and what's so cool about it is that, I mean, there's there's younger kids, you know, there's 18-year-olds, yeah. there's kids my age, there's yeah. uh, older, there's How old? young, there's like young old, parents. Like me? There's people like you. There's young parents walking around with their babies yeah. with 
big earmuffs on. On the babies. I'd yeah, <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. Like, you know, the noise-canceling headphones. Yeah, it's outside of Palm Springs, mm-hmm. about 20 minutes or something? Yeah, it's in India. India, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not, I mean, it's oh, close. It's so beautiful. Uh, snow-capped mountains all, all around, palm yeah. trees. I've actually got an awesome uh, picture. Oh, Lynn pulled one up, a uh, cool one, too. So that's, like, out the back when you turn around, after, you know, you're at a stage and you turn around, that's yeah. the sun that you're that's seeing beautiful. set. That's wow, beautiful, huh? that's so pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just overall a great, wow. fantastic that's a good weekend. Time. That's a good time. And I highly recommend it to anybody out there. All right. Well, I probably won't go. <laughs> I mean, I could. I would like, no, no, I would ago. like to. We've talked. I just don't want to. Oh, I totally would like to. I just okay. don't know if I yeah. want to yeah. suffer I'm with I'm not the... camping, but I want to go. <laughs> We've talked about this. Yeah. If the I'd Rolling Stones were headlining. That. Yes. Who would you, you guys would go. If the Rolling Stones were headlining. You would go. We would go for sure. Mm-hmm. There you go. Right. So if, De- if David, if Bowie was there, Kelly? Yeah. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> right. You're, it's your fantasy, I know. Listening. Your fantasy is a uh, Mick Jagger, David Bowie sandwich with you in the middle. Oh, Who, they, they, oh no, I didn't did mean it. Oh, no, no, no. I far, didn't mean it always. like that. I did not mean it in a overtly sexual way. I just meant you would love to be in between the <laughs> two the of next. them. Just. I don't know how else you would take that. Oh, yeah. I didn't honestly. I did With not mean it like that. Also, my youngest son right here. Also, in the my room. youngest son right there. <laughs> oh. oh, look at Blake. Blake just came on. Coachella was so fun. Oh Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, all right. Yeah, well, today is uh, National Eggs Benedict Day. Did anybody know that? <laughs> I had no idea. National Eggs Benedict Day. So, is there one for every food? Probably. Oh God, I don't know. Um, you can take my computer, and this is this is in my second cookbook. Mm. This is called the Manedict. <laughs> so it's a bagel on the bottom, right? Down there's bagel. Mm-hmm. Uh, then steak, rare. It's cooked, but it's medium rare. That little layer of it right there. Mm-hmm. And then French fries is the next layer. And then a poached egg. Oh wow! Mm. And instead of hollandaise sauce, it's gravy. Wow. That is damn fine. That's on the website. It's in my second book called something. And um, Called something? The second book is called uh, it has a title. Awesome Recipes and Kitchen Shortcuts. <laughs> That's the one you like the least, though, is it not? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. If I had to choose one says. I like the least, mm-hmm. if you're going to make me say that in front of people watching, <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. Yes, probably. Why? Mm. Any reason in particular? Well, I love the first one the most because it's like, it was the first book. I mm-hmm. put all my blood and sweat and tears into mm-hmm. it. The second one came a, a pretty quick. Mm-hmm. And then the third one was grilling. And I really was really, really into grilling at the time I was working on that book. So hey, uh, I like that. If, if there's ever a good time to pick up the Sand the Cooking Guy grilling book, it's right now in April before That's the summer call. starts. Thank you very yeah. much, man. <clears throat> My, oh ed, my man, publisher gonna, would love you for that. Let's, yeah, let's get some grilling recipes. And we're getting close to next uh, May's grilling month. Mm-hmm. Wow, only thirteen dollars and thirty three cents on Amazon. Yeah, how, how is that possible? Wait, so you don't? Here's the, if I, don't I if I, if I go buy that book, so right, the book is twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah, next. If you go, if store. you go to like a regular bookstore, yeah, nineteen ninety five or yeah. nineteen ninety whatever. Plus it's. tax. Plus tax. Yeah. If I buy that book myself. I will pay ten dollars from my publisher. Are you serious? I wrote the book. Yeah. I'll pay ten bucks for it. Get out of here. And if I go to Amazon, thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks. And if I spend twenty five dollars, I only need to buy two books. Yeah. They'll ship it to me for free. No way. Yeah. And probably tax free, right? This no, is, I think you have to. You I think it. you have to pay taxes oh, based Amazon. on based on where you are. Okay. Yeah. I crazy. think that's what has to happen. That's nuts. That that is, yeah. I think that's, I think that's crazy. Anyway, make that eggs Benedict. That's a good one. Um, I like locks on an eggs Benedict. Do everything the same except substitute the the ham with locks. See, I don't smoke like salmon. Locks, but I, I've had eggs that Benedict one. That like one's that. really it's good. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of locks either, Dad. I know you're not. That's interesting. It's strange. I mean, it's a huge Jewish thing, and I know people that just are hey, obsessed with it, and it's just not my thing. And well, how weird is that? I hate everything, and I love smoking. I know. Yeah, yeah, she loves but, Okay, so let's talk about this for a second, because you're like me, and you don't really like the fishiness 
of uh, seafood that could be too fishy, correct? Right, right. And that's what you find with lox? I guess I do. Something about the soft nature. You know of what the, it is? Of it's the, the it's the oily nature. It's an oily. Uh huh. It's an oily preparation. Once it's done like that, that that's the thing that I really really like. Once mm-hmm. it hits See, the bagel and cream cheese. We right? did lox. Did we do? <laughs> did we do lox eggs and onions on the live cast before? Um, no. Onions. No. Sauteed in a pan, chopped up lox in, and then a oh my god, that is so good. Yeah, hey Lynn, good. yes, do you have that picture of the um, brisket foo young? Oh, oh yeah, let me pull that up real yeah. quick. So I we we talked we Fuyang. talked about this Thursday, and I said I'd made it uh, Wednesday afternoon for Max and Zach as they were getting ready to take everything. Sorry, Max and Jordan as they were take, getting ready to take everything down to. Fixtures Living. Which was an awesome live cast, by the way. Go to the samlivecast.com to check it out and go to fixturesliving.com also. Yeah, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. It was really yeah, fun. Was awesome. A good crowd. Really, really nice people writing after saying thank you for... Oh, and... Helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for you, Canadian. <laughs> oh, you know, I didn't send you this picture. Huh? We are, are sitting right next door to the <laughs> back patio. Look at the beautiful color outside, that light. Yeah. Out there right now, how nice is that? So oh, nice. Super it's nice. very nice. Wow, that's pretty. All right, uh, Jeez. brisket fuyang? Yeah, brisket fuyang. Oh, that was so good. So, but here's, at, so here's what that is. That's, you know, um, brisket chopped up sauteed in the pan and then the eggs go in i made it in my wok and you make it into like a big flat pancake and then you flip the whole thing which i did nicely you did mm-hmm. I, should, I wish i got a video cook that, that cool. second side then i turned it out i i slid it off into the big black cutting board and drizzled uh some of the brisket gravy on top of it and just cut it into big wedges for us to eat this was after we made the what else did we make that night then Hmm. Oh. We ate something else. We did eat something else. But it was very the little. Shit, what was it? <laughs> it was <laughs> Steve goes, it was very little. Yeah, it was the, the, what was soup, it? the pea soup. Okay. Oh, oh, the pea yes. soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which sure. was also amazing. Which is also really good. Yeah. Um, but you know but what? Not it, according to Kelly, just for the record. No, no, not according to Kelly. But or, here's what's interesting. That brisket Fu Young said to me, you can Fu Young anything. <laughs> you could Fu Young anything. <laughs> right? We made shrimp Fu Young. I could make lox Fu Young. Yeah. You could make luck, but you know what I did a couple days ago. I was I wanted breakfast. I felt like eggs. Yeah. You know I've been using these egg beater things. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's no cholesterol and half the fat and almost no calories. Right? And you're fatty. I'm <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I wanted I wanted to put something in them, and we didn't really have anything. I took a taquito, oh, and microwaved it for about softened it up. 25 seconds yeah. and then chopped it up and threw that in the pan let it get a little crispy then put some of the uh the egg things in huh okay that's gross it's really <laughs> that's good no. that's, you know yeah that's it was drunk really good. college food it wasn't oh. drunk college food <laughs> that's drunk college food wait what were we talking about yesterday i was You're talking repurposing about repurposing frozen taquitos <laughs> no in a very okay, bright that's way ridiculous hey, that's excellent. by something, the way yes oh, sorry something that uh jillian and i do because she's a vegetarian when sometimes we cook eggs we do soy chorizo yeah soy which they call soy chorizo. Oh, yeah it's so which, good by the way everybody says is great it's and great. it's, it's oh, super good. I, I couldn't believe how good it was you couldn't tell the difference probably i right? could not at all yeah, i no could way. not at all it, i think i feel like it's more about the sauce exactly the yeah. so um and that's the very healthy right soy chorizo is a healthy it's a very i think okay. it's a healthy I, i'm sure it's a healthy alter much okay, has to be less fat right. and mm-hmm. blah 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 whatever right. mm-hmm. what was i what was i talking about making yesterday kelly and you walked by and you got pissed off at me because of what i was talking about yeah i'm trying to think wait when does she not get pissed? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, it hey. was a recipe it was a class it was something that i had made i was sitting at my computer right here and you walked by and i was talking about it and you said that just makes me mad <laughs> <laughs> she gets furious well, it over the it, suggestion of things that I want to make. I could not have been more angry than I am right now that you repurposed that taquito <laughs> in. That's stupid. That's what the now, cooking guy does. Now, why can't you open the much. fridge right now and go to my section of the fridge and then okay, you no, see. I'm telling it's not. My section. <laughs> there wasn't anything you that I wanted that right was now. in there. Thank you. <laughs> God. Don't go near my room <laughs> or my side of the fridge. <laughs> Uh, I just want to show that uh, shot of the pea soup for those that missed it because yeah. it's a beautiful shot. Um, With the bacon and the yeah, onion on got, top? Got, it's, yeah, it's, it's got everything. 
Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah. Well, see, that that's all for photography. It looks amazing. <laughs> well, it tastes hey, good, Hey, Mom. Too. Why are, we, are no, all of oh, us I like forgot, that? I forgot. What did I we got, talk about, Mom? I know. I forgot. What did it we was say? fabulous. Look at it. <laughs> okay. Oh. So do you know what they're talking? Here's the deal. Max had a, had a talk with his mother. <laughs> mm-hmm. And what would you say? I said, Mom, <laughs> I think that... It's not the best idea to talk a lot of shit about a dish right before he's about to place it down and talk about how amazing it is on the live cast. By the way, as somebody wise once said, if you don't have anything nice to say, shut the fuck up. Oh, oh that's how the quote goes. I don't know if that was the exact word. That's not what they said? No. Now that's being mean. Sorry. Be nice to me. So, it was pretty amazing, man. I mean... Frozen peas, bacon, sour cream. Mm -hmm. It was great. Can't go wrong. So good. So lest anybody thinks that I'm being disrespectful because of the way I'm being for what's going on with me today, just let me explain one thing. Uh, We're sitting here this morning. We're doing our normal thing. Zach is having some fruit. It's 7 o'clock. Zach is eating some fruit before school. Kelly and I are having coffee. The Today Show starts. And I look down and I see that it's my mom calling. And I pick it up, and I just, I missed her call. My phone was on silent, or the sound was down for some reason. So she leaves a message, and she goes, Hi, if you don't, uh, call me back if you don't get me at home. Call my cell phone. I can't remember her doing that. I I just don't remember a time when my mom did that. Mm -hmm. So I call her, I get her home, and uh, she tells me that my father passed away this morning, late last night. It's like a flyover with the planes, you know? And um, my dad was 88. My dad had been in a home for Kel three years? Oh, five. Five? Six, five for sure. I guess. Uh, You know, he had a a double bypass a few years ago. I think I talked about this. Mm -hmm. Didn't do anything to get, didn't, didn't do anything to get himself better. I mean, like nothing. And finally, his body just really stopped sort of working in terms of mobility. He couldn't walk, couldn't take himself to the bathroom, all the stuff. He, my mom certainly couldn't do any of this. So he had to go into a home. So he went into a home, and then that was just the end. It was really like the beginning of sort of like the end physically for him. Mentally, he was okay. Um, but he just, he just couldn't do anything for himself anymore. And so he's been in a home. My mom goes every single day. Every single day, and got a phone call from the home this morning. They said when they went in to wake him up, he was gone. Mm. And so my mom tells me this, and um, you know, I mean, we knew he was sick. We knew he was probably going to go, and and even there's there's moments when you sort of you almost think it would be better if it happened. You know, better for everybody, they say. And yet, when you get that phone call, mm-hmm. it's just nothing that you're, you're ready for. Right. I don't want to cry. I'm not going to cry. Certainly try not to. But I, you can't let something like that go. I mean, really, it's, I've, grandparents have passed away. I don't have any grandparents anymore. But a parent is uh, it's just a whole other thing. We were just talking about Grandpa Bruce. Yeah. Uh, on Thursday's live cast, I think we were showing that picture that you were holding up. Yeah. Of you as a kid at the factory. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That was my dad. You know what? He went in the best way possible. Absolutely. And, yeah. and wait, you said he was sick, but he wasn't sick. He was just uh, all. I, I, he was. It was just all. It was all like breaking down. Right. No, but that's a good. We point. used to joke that he would outlive everybody, mm. just yeah. in his own little way. But the, but and I just he mean had a, I just mean it's important that he he wasn't sick. Not he that was kind just, of sick. Yeah. He was just. Um, I know what you mean, Mom. Can we yeah. all agree that that's the way to go? Totally. In your sleep. Totally. Eighty-eight totally. years old in your sleep, easy. I, I mean, right. obviously. Yeah, yeah. What a great life. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Like rather than uh, just, I don't know. And wait, your mom said arm. that um, their doctor is their friend, and he happened to be at the home yesterday visiting somebody else. Yeah. And then he stopped by to see Bruce. Yeah. Talked to Bruce. Told he knew Joy. He was going- no, told Joy that he was absolutely fabulous. 
great, which means that Bruce was in good spirits enough to, even just if he didn't know sleep. who he was, just said hello to him and shook his right. hand, gave him a wave, yeah. and then he went to bed. And that's how it should be. So it's, a, it's you know what? As terrible I, as it is, it's, it's nice. I'll tell you something. My father was not the nicest man. He was, uh, he, had, he had a way of pissing people off. And if you did something that he didn't like, he just got like, cut you out of his life. He just have nothing to do with you. Mm. And yet the older they got, the more sweet he got. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 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 He just became sweet, sweet and nice. And, and, uh, do you think that was more of the, the business side? And as he realized, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Anyway, you know, we're going home for the funeral and, and, um, uh, it hit me today when I called Max to tell Max. Yeah. I started crying when I, uh, when I was on the phone with you. Mm -hmm. That was a little difficult. It, it, I, I mean, it's, it was weird. It was a really big shock to me. I mean, yeah. uh, despite the fact that he's been living in a home for half a decade and wow. we've all known that you know th that yeah. he's problems and he's 88 years old and that it's going to happen soon it's still it was just a very very uh surreal thing to hear on the phone yeah. and especially i mean i was starting i was thinking about um it was just weird to think about myself partying at coachella last night hmm. and i started you know i i i love you grandma i if you're watching i love you so much and i hope everything's good Why'd you have to say that? <laughs> Jeez. I know. And he looked at the camera. I know. Ugh. I have his ring on. I was wondering about that. That is so ring. cool. Yeah. Really? I have his ring on. It's yeah. the only ring. My dad didn't wear jewelry. Can that we get a lapis, tight shot on that, Steve? That yeah. lapis stone. That little is really lapis pretty. stone. And um, my mom, uh, my mom gave me this the last time I was in Vancouver. She said, "You know what? Your dad can't wear rings anymore, and it's here. And you know, what am I going to do with it?" And I said, "I'd love it." And I took it, and it's a little tight. It's not like perfect. And I put it in my drawer, and I pulled it out this morning, and somehow it seems perfect, you know? Mm. Was it his pinky ring? Did he wear yeah, his pinky? Yeah. His pinky. Right. yeah. That's it. That's really cool. He was not a jewelry guy Yeah. at all. Very simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. I got my old man's ring on. Steve and I were talking about... <laughs> Steve and I shot yesterday for the supermarket stuff we do. Mm -hmm. The stuff that's in Costco's and, and whatever. And I'm making, uh, I'm cooking some bacon. And I have this wooden spoon in my hand. <laughs> and I say to Steve, you know, I never liked wooden spoons. <laughs> and somebody left this spoon at my house at some time, and I have no idea who it is. And I've used it, and I love it. And what did you say? Are you of getting beaten? <laughs> Steve goes, that's the kind of spoon my mom used to beat me with. <laughs> I don't know if it was that accurate, but yeah. <laughs> She, she would hit me with all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them would be other ones. <laughs> so like we, start la we start laughing about that. Uh -huh. And then I say, my dad, my dad didn't hit with a spoon. My dad used the belt. Belt, oh, yeah. Oh, and though I was too young, he mellowed by the time I came along. I was the youngest of four. I mellowed by that point. Or he had mellowed by that point. He didn't hit me anymore. Right. But his style, well, let me see if I can stand up and, and do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here was his style. That's he bad. would yell at my brothers would be doing something, and he would yell, you, and he'd start with the pants like this. And I can't do it because I've got these, these packs on. Mm -hmm. But he would undo the pants, the belt, and he would be yelling at the kids to get upstairs, and he would pull the belt off, <laughs> and it would come off in one completely smooth motion, uh -huh. like this. <laughs> like a sword. Like so a I sword. Know. But <laughs> what you would hear, they tell me, you would hear the belt hitting the belt loops yeah. all the way around. It'd be like, choo, 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 choo. and it was like you were watching and listening in slow motion. <laughs> and then he would take the belt and do that little move where if you double it in half, right? And you go, yep. oh, it slaps. Man. Yep. That's oh, the scary part. Really <laughs> That's the scary part of what happens when you get hit with a belt. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, did anyone ever see the movie Pootie Tang? What? Huh? What movie? Chris Rock's movie, Pootie Tang. I <laughs> saw no. a long time ago. You have, no, to, you have to search it. His whole thing was he would hit people with his belt. 
Mm -hmm. Let me pull it out. Anyway, bad reference. Whatever. But Dad, um, <laughs> while we're on the topic of corporal punishment, maybe you should tell <laughs> some stories about your Brentwood days. I went to a. I went to a. Uh, this let me the last the last my dad story. Can you sit here for a sec, Steve? Okay. <laughs> Just let me. You, you might, oh, you'll be fine. Yeah. So this is now me at breakfast. This is my dad used to do. This is me at breakfast, right? So it was me and my dad would come along. I'd be sitting there, pretend like you're eating cereal. My dad would go like this. Ow! <laughs> 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 and I'd say, go like this, go like this. What was that for? What was that for? Nothing, but in case you do something later and I'm not around. <laughs> that was his move. I'm gonna fall for that trick. <laughs> that was it was that hard. hard. That was really <laughs> hard. Man. Hey Steve, come here. I want to hear what my daddy <laughs> said. Yeah, no. I'm not falling for that again. Uh, I went to a boarding school. I went I heard to a, that through the mics. I went to a school. <laughs> I had to do it the real way. He I was went so to surprised. <laughs> he like, didn't. Whoa! What the hell was that? <laughs> that was exactly my reaction. And, and he was fake shoveling cereal in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't choke on the fake cereal. <laughs> well, that definitely woke me up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. That made me feel better. <laughs> oh. I don't think I've laughed this hard in a while. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh. So I went to a a private boarding school for my high school years mm -hmm. boys and girls uh grades 9 through 12 nope 8 uh 8 through 12 8 yeah it was 8 uh it's called brentwood college on vancouver island which is just off the coast of uh, vancouver mm -hmm. but because it was private they really could do anything they wanted to wow and and, this, and it was in the 70s and it was in the 70s and the staff were all from the british isles somewhere and people weren't suing people. People weren't then. suing. Yeah. You sent your kids. It started off as a school for problem kids. Yeah. In fact, my, my, um, the brother just older than me uh, went there for, I think, a year because he was a problem kid, which proved to be a problem kid the entire way through his life. But that's neither here nor there. It eventually evolved into a school of privilege, really. It was a very good school. Like a prep school, prepare you for college. That mm -hmm. kind of thing. Uh -huh. So my, um, my parents asked me if I wanted to go. We went for a tour one day, and I said I'd love to, and we went. And, and then I found out what they can do to you when you're in trouble. I mean, it's not like they would string you up or anything, but they could, they could as they would say, they could beat you. Wow. Wait, so this is grade 8 through 12? Or is 8 through 12. Through, okay, yeah. Grade 8 through 12. Yeah. In Canada, we say... Uh, they say, what grade is your son in? And you go, oh, he's in grade eight. Mm -hmm. And this is high school. Here they say grade. eighth grade, right? Okay. right. And, so. and it's so weird. They say, oh, he's a grade eighter, not an eighth grader. Oh. He's a grade eighter. Oh, it sounds yeah. weird. <laughs> I was and like, I, what the hell? I remember when you guys were younger, said. Max, yeah. and I would say, um, is Johnny in grade seven? Mm -hmm. And you would get so mad <laughs> because it sounded like I was, I, I was saying like he's in grade one. Yeah, <laughs> grade seven sounds way younger than seventh grade, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so you would do something wrong, and they could hit you with almost anything. And different uh, teachers had different things that they would use. Wow, Mr. Bunch, the assistant headmaster, that had <laughs> flaming Bunch. white hair, that would sit like this in his chair, smoking in his office. He was he was very very flamboyant in his moves and like that. <laughs> and then he would French inhale. You know what that is when the smoke goes uh, in your nostrils? Mm -hmm. And he's all stained, nicotine stains uh, under ew. here. How gross is <laughs> What have you done, boy? He would hit, that's how he would talk. I remember being in, um, in an assembly one day and they were talking about something and horses and whatever and uh, uh, who was it? It was, it was David Asper. David Asper and I are sitting beside each other, and we hear them talking about uh, horses, and we start doing this. We're just stupid kids in 10th right. grade, grade 10, mm -hmm. whatever, like this, ninth grade, <laughs> doing this. And all of a sudden, we feel a tap on the shoulder, and we turn around, it's Mr. Bunch, and he goes, 
after assembly, my office. Let's go, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> assembly ends, we go down, and you stand outside the office because we got, you knew you had to beat him there. You didn't want Mr. Bunch to get to his office and be waiting for you. Yeah. You had to get there. So wow. we're there standing outside his office with our hands like behind our backs, just what's it going to be, what's it going to be, what's it going to be? We're pretty certain we were getting beat. The question is, how, how many times? Oh, how many times? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you knew how? Well, we knew what Mr. Bunch's style was. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we wait. He comes down. He opens the door. He sees us. He looks at us. He goes in. He shuts the door. He's going to make us fucking wait. Oh. Mr. Bunch is going to drag this out. The worst. Worst. By the way, I love the man dearly. Yeah. Love him dearly. He passed away a few years ago. Uh, but this was his style, and he would make you wait. So now there you are outside of his office. And then the door opens up. He's smoking. Come in, boys. <laughs> you go in. You stand in front of his desk. And it's, it's very... I mean, it's an old building. It's an old Victorian-style building. And there's... There's um, <coughs> ivy all over the outsides, and it's creaky wood hallway floors, and it's very Harry Potter-esque. I was going to say Harry Potter. It's very Harry Potter. We have to wear uniforms. There's all that stuff, right? So we come in, and he's, the leg is up. And he's smoking, and he's just, he's just looking at us. <laughs> and he asked, you know, what were you doing? And then you have to admit, we were pretending to ride horses in assembly, and was that... Was that what you should have been doing? No, of course, no, no, Mr. Bunch, it's not, you know. Was it, di was it disrespectful to the headmaster that was on the stage at the time? Yes, it was disrespectful. Right, Zion, out, shut the door. So now David Asper is in the room by himself, and now I go outside. <laughs> I'm even scared listening to the story, and I've heard it a bunch. <laughs> and now you know what's gonna happen. You know David Asper is gonna get beat, and however many times David Asper gets it, I'm going to get it. He's not going to make it worse for me or easier for me. It's going to be an even punishment. Well, it's harder for you because you, you've got to wait that much longer, right? I got to oh. hear him yeah. getting beat. And the, oh, yeah, the anticipation. But now I'm counting. Oh, you always got beaten twos. Yeah. <laughs> and it, always, it maxed out <laughs> at six. Okay. <laughs> Two for a minor infraction. Six for a major infraction. At least it was standardized. This has to be minor. <laughs> where would where would riding horses <laughs> in assembly That's a minor be? Thing. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> else? Who wants to guess? I'm, I'm gonna to say you. four. Okay, let's put our guesses in. Lin at four. Two for the Steve. distraction. Two for the disrespect. I said two. I'm gonna go six. But I'm, I'm already. The guy tomorrow. just was not in a good mood that day, and he went <laughs> off on my dad and his little friend. And Kelly, if you remember, don't say, but, or if you want to guess, guess. Do you remember? Kind of. Then I'm don't say. say. Okay. okay. Oh, so I'm standing outside. The door shut. And other kids are walking past now. Oh, Jesus. And that. they know what's going down. <laughs> they saw us get yanked <laughs> out. Guys. I'm standing there and they're like this. <laughs> <laughs> they're just oh, looking at God. me. You know, they're giving you the face. And they're saying in their eyes, Dude, I hope it's only two. <laughs> and so this is Mr. Bunch's style. I gotta try and do this properly. Here's a here's a chair. You should just put Steve in that chair. I'll fall for that one again. Oh jeez. I gotta get the chair oh down to regular height. Get, okay. Well, get one of those. <laughs> no, I got weird. it. I got it. Just I just had to. That. I didn't hump the chair. <laughs> yeah, I just had to get the chair down. Did. Okay, we you need did. to figure out a way to just like record these you audio these sound bites. Okay. I didn't hump the so chair. This is what, so this right. is what Mr. Bunch says. Should I do it Somebody over here so I'm further away? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bunch says. <laughs> I didn't hump the chair. Put your hands. On the arms of the okay, chair. Do you really want to sit there? I'll sit there. No, 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 okay, no. no. It's not. Okay. It's not sitting. And this is too high. So, so imagine this is a chair in his office that has arms. Yeah. So you're like this. Oh, jeez. Right. This is the move. Right. Oh. <laughs> That's the move, and you're standing there. He lines there. them up. And Mr. Bunch, you're gonna have to follow me, because Mr. Bunch now, I don't have anything I can do this with. Mr. Bunch walks this far away. Do you see this? Wow. He has in his hand what? what used to be 
a walking cane, right? Yeah. So a walking cane would be about here, the, the turn part, the handle, all the way down. It's the turn part, but it's only this long. His hand is wrapped up in that turn part, and there's this much cane sticking out. Wow. You got me? Wow. So he walks this far away, oh so he can goodness. do this. It's a running start? Yep. Boom! Oh, oh. And that's where it hits. Again. And it hits like, and this is what you hear from inside, from outside. Oh. And you know that's David Asper's ass getting hit. <laughs> so this, and you know he's going like this. You get it and you go. <laughs> and I'm outside in the hole like this. Because I can hear it. And then. Is there another one? Oh, oh. God, it's terrible. Two. Oh. It's two. That's great, because you don't want to hear, oh no, it's three. Oh, <laughs> and then when no. you hear three, you, you know, know it's four. There's never three. I don't know any kid that ever got beat three. What'd you get? I got beat two, I got beat four, I got beat six. There was never a three. But oh, thank God it stopped at three. I mean, sorry, thank God it stopped at four. Oh wait! Oh! oh no. It didn't. And the reason was, who, who said the word disrespect? I did. Lynn. Lynn. I disrespected oh. the headmaster and Brentwood, wait for it. Brentwood was all about respect. We had to sit in the classroom before the class started. And one of the kids stood at the door of the classroom and looked down the hall. And when the teacher got close enough, when the teacher got <clears throat> 10 feet from the door of the classroom, the door monitor kid would say, all rise, and everybody would stand up wow. and wait for the teacher to come in with their books. The teacher would say, sit down, and then you'd sit down. Bizarre. And the teacher would almost say, sit down in sort of an annoyed way, like, what the hell are you doing standing up? Mm -hmm. Even though that was what had to happen. I'm going to have people at the office start doing that for me. Yeah. <laughs> I like and I thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> and I thought it was stupid until I came home for my first vacation break from school. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting watching TV, and one of my parents' friends came over. And the second this adult walked in the room, uh -oh. I stood up. Wow. And in my head, I went, shit, <laughs> the system works. You programmed. <laughs> I was programmed. But that's the thing to do. My kids, now, somebody walks in the room, my kids all get up. That's nice. It's really nice. It's respectful. It's respect. But I disrespected... Not only did I disrespect Lynn, but I did it in way too public a place mm -hmm. that oh, I had assembly. to, that David Asper and I had to be made examples of. So that's, that's, so that's, that's, where that's what it was. Came from. So yeah. it was that's six. where the six came from. That's where the six came Does from. Does it seem like a minor? Seems like a minor infraction, yeah. right? Yeah. So do you think he enjoyed that? Oh, man. I do. Check yeah. this out. Hey, I'm check sure this out. That's Listen, wait. Power I'm sure tripping. Weird. Steve, that is this power is cool. Tripping. I would love to hear from the live casters who have similar experiences yeah. in the 70s. That's like we've that. heard. Uh, we've okay, heard. wait a second. Wait. Okay, I got two other teacher stories. Mm -hmm. One, Mr. Burroughs, who would beat you with a piece of leather. It was about oh. a half an inch thick, Jeez. this wide, this long. <laughs> Had a bit of a handle on That's it what she because said. he was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. That was inappropriate. Know, Mr. Burroughs. It's delicate. Out of the shop for that. Mr. Burroughs <laughs> had cut a kid's ass before. Whoa. Are you serious? With too thin of a rod of some kind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Blood. He'd cut a kid's ass. Mr. Burroughs could only hit with that. And then there was this. I'm not. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to hurt you, Steve, but you got to sit here for this next one. <laughs> oh, I promise. That's I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You promise. He's I'm got a promise. migraine right now. Oh, my now. goodness. I know. I have a concussion. <laughs> and, then there was, and then there was Mr. Brackenby. Don't hit me hard. Hold on. I'm not going to stop your crying. I'll punch you this Hold time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your shirt's crazy on the camera. All right, that's good, Dan. <laughs> okay. Oh, then there too. was Mr. Brackenby, oh, yeah, right? So Mr. Brackenby, pretend you're oh, sitting at a he's desk. He's nervous. Look at him. Mr. Brackenby would do this. If you were fucking around at your desk, he would give you, he would, first he would give you one of these, like a warning. <laughs> what do you he, <laughs> he would say some shit. Just like, show, just, just stop show it. Us. No, no, no. And then he would do this. The second warning was this. He would take his sleeves that were always down, oh, like God. this. He would do this. He would pull up his sleeve, like this. <laughs> and he would go, 
do you want to get hit with my big arm? <laughs> I swear to God. My big the arm? The guy's line was, do you want to get hit with my big arm? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I well, my here's what it was. <laughs> the, when you didn't pay attention to the, the warning, this is what you got. Oh, I'm not going to go through oh. the motions. I'm not going to do it. Shudder. He would come up to you. He would take you by the back of the head. He would push you <laughs> flat on the desk. <laughs> and then he would take his fist and oh, he would go, wham! Up. No. Flat down on you. No. no I swear way. to God. Okay. That what? didn't like kill like someone. Wouldn't that kill someone? Yeah. And your parents paid how much? It I know. It, it, it shocked the hell out of you. Wow. And if you were lucky, the, the absurdity of the whole thing. A guy standing there saying, do you want to get hit with my big arm? And then he throws you down and he whacks you with the flat of his fist. With the that big arm. This, break this, your this, neck? Wait, this hard, watch this. You gotta get this. This is, I am not exaggerating. Here's your back, here's his hand. Oh, no way. Right? He hits you like that. Terrible. Wait. Somebody had to die. You <laughs> hoped that you didn't laugh. Oh. When he did it, oh, yeah. because if he, you did laugh, you get another out of nervousness. You know, he had that nervous or, laughter yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, out of nervousness, but also out of a guy saying, "Do you want to get hit with my big arm?" <laughs> that in itself. And Sam, yeah, you have a funny. huge arm, by Wait, the way. Did like he have? So did he have a baby arm or something? No, he didn't have a baby arm. Oh, okay. He had a big arm. Did he but beat was the it shit? Bigger than the other? <laughs> bigger than the other arm? Yeah. He's like. <laughs> big arm. Which arm? You know what? That's funny it. you asked that, Max. I, I I hurt my arm just now. <laughs> Hitting that chair. Well, we both have broken arms, oh, I know. remember? I know. Now I you and Steve can both file for workers' compensation. God. Right. <laughs> Nowadays, kids will say, I'll see you if you hit me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know how fast? Oh, yeah. That oh, arm yeah. is that arm hasn't even connected. Yeah. Uh, already. I don't think I'm sure they can't do any of that. No, they can't. <laughs> I'm sure they can't do it that no, anymore. No, they can't do anything like that. I'll tell you this. Here's another thing about Brentwood. Every every boy there had to play rugby. Mm, yeah. That was the sport. Except for and I'm not making this up. The Chinese kids. <laughs> and they got to play badminton. <laughs> That's so true. Wait. It's true. Am I, Lynn. Dude. Does that sound right in your head? What? <laughs> but is that Okay, so badminton, I don't think I could be wrong. And I'm telling you, they were sc scary good. No, but that's was the that thing. A you don't. Was that cultural acceptance or was that a racial? You don't, no, no, no. no I, it was somehow, it was the only, the only kid, the only Chinese kid at Brentwood that I know, remember playing rugby was Patrick Choi. And the reason <laughs> I remember this was because Mr. <laughs> Wynn, an Irish teacher, an Irish guy that taught, he was a housemaster. He didn't get along with Patrick Troy, and he used to say, Patrick Troy, you fucking dink. Get in the bus. <laughs> it was always, Patrick Troy, you fucking this. Patrick Troy, you fucking that. Poor Patrick <laughs> That's Troy. The students. Hurry up and get in the bus, you fucking dink. <laughs> okay. Do you know the expression dink? <laughs> no. No. Dink. Uh, uh, I know the one that we're bringing, bringing dink back. back. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's yeah, essentially, I think it's Canadian for penis. We're bringing dink back. Oh, a dink right. is a penis. Okay, right. that makes sense. So instead of saying you fucking prick, is Patrick Troy a fucking dink? Get in the bus. <laughs> this is wow. Mr. Wynn, who when he had a cold, he said he would sit on the end of his bed with a bottle of whiskey and he would start drinking and he would drink and he would drink and he would drink until he passed out. And then he'd wake up the next morning with a wee bit of a hangover, but the cold was gone. <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm telling you. Jeez, what? This, is, what this is where I went to school. You? It's a wow. wonder that I turned out at all. Yeah, no wonder you're know. so straight laced and. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they, well, all, right. they must have beaten it into you. And oh, my God. Or beaten it out of you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy writes Now I know why Sam is angry all the time. It's all coming out now. And finally, Blake has reared his ugly head. Go to Facebook. Oh, yeah, what's yes. up with that guy? oh, look who there came back. <laughs> abuse cast. Abuse cast. <laughs> look how scared <laughs> Steve looks. Right. <laughs> Sam with the big arm. Do you want to know what's really so funny about that? This whole like uh, Facebook timeline <laughs> shit. You're so muscular, honey. This <laughs> Facebook timeline <laughs> shit is so weird. I don't get it. There was a just a before the live cast. There was a Blake <laughs> post. From the end of March, <laughs> yeah, when weird. he posted his the the curse cast. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow. know. Oh, 
Well, Why I, does that just show up? Like I think that? okay, I it's think a it's month because um, we're in April. Yeah, so it'll show the recent stuff from like a week. Yeah. And then it skips all the way back to the most previous month. Well, that's stupid. So weird. How about this? Uh, yes, I agree. Zach Neuschuler. Hi, mm-hmm. Zach. I haven't seen you yet. He says, I'm ho- sorry to hear about your dad, Sam. Digi hug. Oh, like a hug. that's oh. nice. Thank oh, you. Cute. Thank you. Thank I've you. I've never heard that. That's cool. No, I don't know that either, but I like it a lot. Is it, is, it a, is it a symbol or is it? Well, no, he's got it. a star. Digi hyphen hug. Star. Oh. Ah, okay. Digi hug. I like it. Gosh, 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 gosh. All right, so uh, just let me say, Mother's Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. Sam. Yes? Can you do me a favor? Yes. Can we do the Donovan's Reef one more time? Because our cast froze right when you started it. Yeah, of course. We're back up there. There are great sponsors, and, you know, we want to We love Donovan's. We want to make sure that people know, if you don't have plans for Mother's Day, make them right now. Make them tonight. Make them tomorrow for Donovan's Prime Seafood in downtown San Diego, or... Donovan Steak and Chop House in San Diego, downtown San Diego, and in Phoenix. And you better get on it fast, people. Get on it fast. Get on it fast. I'm fast. telling you. Don't be emailing the live cast the Thursday before going, Sam, I screwed up. Can you get us a table at Donovan's? Because <laughs> I don't know if can. I'm going to be able to help you at that point. <laughs> no. You You'll know, be in the kitchen. Which, I, by the way, would be a badass place to be. Yeah. <gasps> That'd be really cool. Let's I'd do that. What's going on back there. I wonder. I don't know. There's, there's, the room is... That would be a cool place to do. I know uh, restaurants are have like these chef tables these days. Yeah. An actual table set up all nice in a kitchen. What if you could take people back there to see it? I feel like there was good enough room in the seafood. There might be. I gotta ask them. I gotta I gotta ask them that. Anyway, my son Jordan is going there tomorrow night. For what? Oh no, he's not. He's there right now. Wait, really? <laughs> Sorry. For, what? Uh, for his 10-month anniversary. Oh. With his G-I-R-L-F-R-I-E-N-D. Yeah, that's bullshit. Are you kidding me? Here, here's, hey, a couple, goes, here's a couple hundred dollars. Go have a nice dinner at... Or at... Oh. Donovan's, I mean. Sorry. Go have a nice dinner at Donovan's. Really? On me. Lynn, can you make sure that the, uh, the audio goes out <laughs> Do you know uh, 10 I'll seconds it. ago? You know, we, you need, know we need that swear thing like hey. they have at radio uh, stations. Wait, so maybe we should talk about this for a second. I My one-year anniversary is on Wednesday, so does that mean that you're sending me to, like, Cabo or something? <laughs> well, now, why can't you go to Donovan's also? Chili doesn't eat steak. <laughs> <laughs> so go to Prime Seafood. Uh, yeah, She's Prime a vegetarian. Go to Prime Seafood and don't be a biatch. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that Wednesday. There chili. you go. Oh, what could be better? Yeah, Prime Seafood. It's awesome. All right. Uh, I got to cook something. And what I'm cooking tonight is a, a tip of the hat, is a nod to my father, Bruce. Because this is something that he liked, most of it. In fact, I stole this idea from his style of eating. Anyways, you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. I'm just thinking. Are you coming? I'm just Maybe? trying to figure I out. I kind of oh. like the empty kitchen shop. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I know. Sorry. He has to look at the recipe. <laughs> no, I'm not looking at the recipe. I'm trying to figure out, you know, it's, uh, it's Patio Nation Month at Fixtures. And I'm, they have, they've been having these demos on Fridays. Wait, what's Fixtures? Uh, fixtures, living. I'm Why, serious. Really? What's Fixtures? What if you were a brand new person that's never seen this show and you had no idea about Fixtures Living? Well, that's why don't you tell, really us, a, tell us about them? That is a good Fixture, point. I mean, it's a kitchen and bath outdoor store that's unbelievable. And it's in San Diego and Costa Mesa, Costa Mesa and, Rancho Mirage. and Rancho Mirage. And it's... Unreal. You make a good point, Max. Th- thank you. I'm not very good at this. I we just nonchalantly should. mentioned fixtures, but... I probably shouldn't be the person doing this. So I now assign this to you from now on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. all this month at Fixtures Living here in San Diego, only the San Diego location, it's Patio Nation Month, and they're celebrating everything that is outdoor cooking. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the demos are going to be this Friday. Go hop on there. Go hop on I know, the I'm looking right now, but I can't tell if it's above... Hold on, so this is April 6th. Fixtureslivingcom Okay, it, can no, I no, say no. the website? They're DCS and Evo. 
Sorry, fixtures. I can't say your website because no, my dad it. is talking over no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why do we have to? The, fi- the website is extremely important. Fixtureslivingcom. Jesus <laughs> 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 fucking Christ. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Now you wonder where I get it. Fixtureslivingcom slash Patio Nation. That's Thank what you. I was trying to get across. Is it a backslash or a forward slash? No, what? Yo, don't even do that. <laughs> do you not know what it okay. is? Max just passed out, and there he got so mad. <laughs> I hate everybody. <laughs> I hate everybody, wow. too. Wow. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Go there. By the way, Friday night, I have my class there. <laughs> Who, nobody cares no, about plug that? Your, plug your class. That's where I do my yeah. classes. There's still a couple tickets available. Awesome. Go to thecookingguy.com forward like slash. Every Friday. Just not every Friday. Every Friday. Okay. Cookingguy.com forward slash classes. It's uh, Asian, cool. It's great Asian food this uh, this Friday. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna love it. Yo, yeah. oh, and hey, I just want to say something to yes. Phoenix people out there. Phoenix I'm people. working on putting together some Phoenix Sam the Cooking Guy classes. So if you have any good venue ideas, maybe email them over to me. Yeah. Info at thesamlivecast.com, and we'll get that set up and out to you guys in Arizona. Any chance you're gonna tell me when that happens? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll let you know. All right. So here's lock, my dad. Here's my dad's right. deal. My father's favorite. After dinner dessert was a bowl of vanilla ice cream. I can see him eating it. Bowl of vanilla ice cream, red skinned peanuts, the ones with still those little. Uh, really? The little. Uh, how often do you get this kind? They're uh, extra oily. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're super delicious. Ice cream, red skinned peanuts, and go that way for one second. Maple syrup or pancake syrup? No way. It seems like a stupid, crazy thing, right? It is. Steve's going, uh-oh. Only <laughs> until you have it. Steve's had it before, so he knows. I'm trying to find a good plate. Steve, what color do you want for this? White is always good. Okay, we'll do white. This one's for you, Grandpa. This is for yeah. Bruce. Grandpa Bruce, boy. Okay. And so I did this for a private thing that I did a couple of years ago, a few years ago. And I like the idea of the ice cream and the peanuts and that, but I wanted to add another component. I like the whole Japanese style of food, right? Hot with cold and spicy with sweet, right? And crunchy with soft. So I wanted to add something warm to this. And I opened up, I started looking around and I came up with waffles. And I know it sounds kind of dumb, but waffles are, make this thing really super good. So we've got some good haagen vanilla ice cream. We've got those waffles that are doing their thing in there. Oh, one more thing, sorry, dude. Sorry, powdered sugar, we need a little powdered sugar. Here we go, we're good. My dad didn't do the powdered sugar, my dad didn't do the waffles, but it doesn't matter because you'll be glad you do it. We're kicking it up a notch. Well, oh I man, we did I, we I know. gonna say that. I'm, I'm, oh man, sorry. Two things you've said tonight you shouldn't. <laughs> All right, so here's how this goes down. It's very simple. The ice cream here. Let me do this on both sides. Mm hmm. Beautiful. I hear birds outside chirping. Wow. So Don't just straight up like that? Oh, yeah. I'm I thought you were going to crunch that. Crunch when you, them when you have a bite of this thing, it's just dumb. I'm excited. It's really good. It's just a combination that fully works together, right? Mm-hmm. I had an amazing uh, animal style double double today. Mm. Just had to throw had that so out there. I had In and Out yesterday. I mm. saw that. I saw that In and Out cup in your. Car. That was me. <laughs> I'm like, I picked him up at the airport, and I'm like, Zaggy, you hungry? Hello, I'm working over here. He's like, I don't know, and I'm like, Do you want I'm, In hey, and Out? Hey, excuse me. This is an homage to my father, Bruce. Can we just pay a little more attention to this? And then the powdered sugar. I'm telling you, it looks stupid. But so did the Cap'n Crunch seared tuna, mm-hmm. which is now on the menu at Donovan Steak and Chop House. Yeah. So, really, how stupid could it have been? Exactly. And then all you do is you get a fork, and you come in here. It's warm. Mm. It's crispy, the waffle. Mm-hmm. It's sweet. It's got these red skin. Don't try and reproduce this with those dry roasted peanuts. Those dry roasted peanuts suck. <laughs> Oh my God. Diane says, add bacon. 
<laughs> Watch what Maybe I next do. time. Here, give me this. <laughs> oh, this again. What do you mean, oh, this again? What are you doing? Right? I'm going to hit you again. <laughs> With my big arm. <laughs> With my big arm. I need my lactard pills. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Really? Oh, mm. wow. You, wow, it looks like you're a fake actor. No, because of the layers. It takes a second it is, for the warmth. Right? It is, right? Isn't it good? Cold, and oh, and a little bit of crunch. Oh. Mm -hmm. but then so you got good. The crunchy of the uh, waffle. That's great. That's so nice. Mm. Okay, I'm going to hand this back, Bex. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's it for us. Um, we have a funeral to go to, so we won't have live cast Wednesday night and Thursday night. We'll have a full report next Monday. Mm -hmm. We'll have some great shows running in the meantime. Thank you for being here. Yeah, and really quickly before we head out, um, obviously just want to say thank you so much to everybody who uh, was writing kind words on Facebook and yeah. giving their condolences. We really appreciate it. And um, we, we love sharing our lives with you guys, you know? It's, it's what we do, and we have fun doing it, so... Thank you for being there for us. Tonight Thanks was everybody. fun. I got a little cheery, but tonight was really yeah. fun. Let's all give a let's all give a chill out, Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> Point up to that sky. All right. Thanks you guys for being here. It means a lot. We'll see you uh, next Monday.